Hello again everyone, Konius here. Today I'm flying from Albany, New York to Syracuse, New York. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll be flying at a flight level of 3,000 feet. I will go ahead and set that now. And let's go ahead and get started. Lift off, gear up. Okay. Engage or two tree continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Okay, that engaging All autopilot, I actually had a battery switch off. Departure. And it said that when I turned the battery on interesting. Um, I'm going to go ahead and engage the autopilot, make sure that it actually works. Okay, this is saying... What? Oh, just shot damper off, right? The usual. Alright, I'll set it to get us to our altitude. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. Flaps up. Okay, I've turned on navigation autopilot now, so we'll start turning into our proper heading. I'm turning on my Xbox controller. Sometimes it goofs things up when I sh turn it on, but this seems to be okay. Make sure I can look around. Okay, looks like I'm getting a pretty decent frame rate. I was having some trouble with frame rate frame rates the last time I played. And so I actually went in and adjusted settings during the flight, seemed to make a big difference. Okay, so we're at our altitude. I'm gonna pull back a little bit on the throttle because we'll have a tendency to exceed the proper speed, so let's just go below the detent a little bit. Interesting, there's a ballpark down here. It's that photogrammetry data, once I turn that on. And then, this must be a car manufacturing plant or something. Maybe a major distribution center. Looks so much more realistic once the once I got the photogrammetry data. Okay, I'm going to switch to the drone. Do a little bit of looking around. Okay, first reset it. plane go on its way, we can switch back and check on it. Okay, but let's see what we see here. Um, 
Not much of interest, just a bunch of agricultural stuff. There's things in this direction. This is back to that, what looked like a big manufacturing complex or something, car manufacturing. Maybe it's just self-storage. Could be lots and lots of self-storage. All right, well, it's not so interesting. Like all the waterways, there's an airport. All right, well, I'll switch back to the plane for now. back inside. A little quieter. Inside versus outside. Always kind of like that view. Let's see if I can back up. I'm not sure what happens when I pull back on the view joystick. Let's see. Oh, it goes to instruments. Okay. And if I push forward. Alright. And then with instruments, let's see. I think. Yeah, you can go down two and then you get to individual instruments. That could be handy. Especially if you're flying and it's gray out. You can't see anything anyway, so. What point is there to looking out the windshield. Prop sync. I wonder what that does. I guess it must keep the two props in sync, their pitch or something. Alright, so then if I go right, I get to that backup instrument. But that also gives me access to easy access to all the uh, autopilot stuff, and then this navigation panel. 
I should probably use this more often. I never think to do it, but it's very handy to get around to all these different instrument systems. It automatically hid the yoke for me and everything. Some of this stuff I have buttons for on my own Logitech panel. There's the de-icing. I don't think we need de-icing. Hopefully that didn't screw anything up. Alright, then it gives us our throttle and all that sort of stuff. One thing I haven't tried is reverse thrust. I don't know if you're only supposed to use that to back up the plane or if you can use that for as part of braking. I should look that up. Okay, one more on the joystick. Okay, oh, so that's interesting. I don't know how much of this stuff's actually operative. No, not much. You can change the barometric pressure. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. One more to the right. So this would give us our fuel stuff. Cross feed flow. Alright. Be interesting to turn that stuff off sometime and see how bad things get. Battery systems. And back to the first one. Alright, so that was down two. If I go down a third, it doesn't do a third. Back up. There's up one. So it's down. Let's see. Go back to a normal reset view. It's down one, two to get to the instrument, but then it's just one back. If you go only down one, then it's just a slightly closer view as the first one. So now I've gone up one. And so I think that's also just a closer view, just higher higher up. Anyway, interesting to check those things out. I haven't actually done that in a while. Looks like we can go a little faster. I'm going to push up on the thrust. If we can get us closer to 240. Request flight following. Mouse wheel to zoom in. Pilots are in shadow, but you kind of see them in there. Oh, keeps the zoom. Nice. Looks like a lot of ray traced reflections going on in this area. Alright, well, let's see what the drone is doing. It's way off somewhere else, stuck back there. Uh, really, none of those textures loaded. I'm going to reset, reset it on the plane, though.
always kind of fun playing with the visuals. Try to do different effects, different moves. Okay, so speed a little on the high side. Let me pull back on the thrust just a tad. I view, I guess is what I call it, something like that. Um, maybe down a little. Okay. Yeah, I like this view. Use the joystick on that Xbox controller. Still have a ways to go. 40 nautical miles. Um, I'll take over in a little bit from autopilot. I'm going to reset the view. I think I must have twisted a knob. Okay, yeah, we're still going at 3000, that's fine. The um, autopilot panel shows 2700, but I think that's intended to be the next target, and I must have twisted a knob somewhere. I could hit the knob on my Logitech do that. Um, it doesn't work exactly the same way as the Garmin does. Uh, it's a sort of a simplified autopilot. Where you set the altitude, and it's just going to go ahead and go there. But the two seem to work together pretty well. What I expect to do is be able to set the altitude target and then have it obey that once I click on something, but that's that doesn't seem to be the way it works. These are interesting. I wonder if these do anything. Guess not. Okay. Seems like it got very contrasty. I think this is something I do wish I had on my Logitech panel. I'd like to be able to turn the instrument panel brightness up. Um, is that up? Yeah, that went up. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like it went up. Maybe the other way? Okay, well. Maybe it's not the instrument panels, it's the displays. Okay, there we go. That did it. Yeah, it's just very gray out, so... So now what I'm going to do is position my feet on the pedals. Take off nav. Take off altitude. And then take off autopilot altogether. Now I'm in control. Now my goal is to begin us slowing us down, so I'm going to pull back the throttle down to about 20%, maybe. And that's up to me to keep us on course, of course. I'm going to try to not lose much altitude in this process. the thought a little bit more. Wouldn't mind getting us down closer to 150 if I could.
Okay, so speed is dropping nicely. I can drop it a bit more by picking back up some of that altitude I lo just lost. Okay, we're in flaps territory. I'm gonna go ahead and put them down part way. And then push forward on the stick due to the increased thrust. I'm not gonna change the throttle yet because we are trying to slow down. I think it's a good time to put the landing gear down. And when I get closer, I'll put the flaps down all the way. We'll have to pick some thrust up again. Okay, I'm gaining altitude, so I'm going to drop... would like to be below 3,000. I'm going to drop the throttle just a bit more, try to lose some speed. Okay, and now I'm going to put the flaps down all the way and bring the thrust up almost to halfway. That should keep us at a good speed, I think, for a while. Pushing hard on the stick. Just waiting for the co pilot to ask for various clearances. I'm going to give us just a tad more throttle for safety's sake, so now we're at the halfway point.
All right, there's our first clearance. Cleared through Charlie Airspace KH-423. Syracuse Tower KH-423 is 11 miles east with Oscar to land. KH-423 Syracuse Tower. Fly straight and runway tree tree. Altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 2 and 2 3 8 at 5. Make straight in runway tree, tree KH-423. Alright, let's head over to the landing pattern. Give us some extra thrust here, just for safety. fast, but that won't be a problem. I am going to dethrottle a bit now, though. Okay, so once that's under like 117, something like that. Hands cramping a little bit, holding on to the stick. Let's make our turn and hug towards the right side. That little glitch it does when you transition in. Okay, I'm pulling back on the throttle, trying to get our speed down to something acceptable. Looks like a nice straight in landing. Alright, so let's get visually centered on that. More throttle droppage. We're now descending pretty quickly, so we're getting some speed out of that. Keep dropping it down until we get the cyan brackets again. I can nose up maybe and take care of that. There we go. Okay, I think I can afford to throttle down just a bit more. Landing gear is good, so don't have to worry about that. Looks like a beautiful day weather-wise. Drop out a little bit more, just keep trying to find a good balance. We have to be going pretty slow when we touch down, so gotta find a good balance. Okay, a little bit of lag. Assume that's probably some downloading. Yeah, it's, the game's gonna do that. What, what can you do? Okay, 
Okay, I'm nosing up a little bit just to avoid descending too quickly. The speed continues to look good. It's dropping though, so I'm gonna give us some thrust just to make sure that we have enough to get all the way onto the runway. And I'll just keep giving us thrust boosts as needed. I'm sure when you practice this enough it becomes really easy to just curve in the throttle, but I'm not there yet. This looks pretty good though. I'm going to drop the throttle all the way now. And let's see if we can hover in. I don't want to nose up too much. Got to keep that air going across the wing. Okay, I'm going to give it some thrust. Just a little bit. Alright, this is feeling pretty good. So let's just try to center on and hover. Keep those rear wheels off the ground as long as possible. And let's go ahead and set those down. Hit the brake. Hit the nose. Flaps up. Hit the brakes. And turn off. Alright, so let's one decimal seven come up here KH4 and KH4. come to a stop. Parking brake. Okay, so I believe I've got the flaps up, and now we want to contact ground. Syracuse ground, KH-423 taxi to parking. KH-423 taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway Delta Alpha cross runway 10. Taxiing to general aviation parking by taxiway Delta Alpha cross runway 10 KH-423. Alright, there we See a bunch of big beautiful airliners over there. Happy to, to report my Thrustmaster T rudder pedals seem to be working okay. Do you have to clean the contacts occasionally? It helps to put it into a less used USB hub also. Oops. Okay, let's put my coffee cup down and not paying attention. thinking I'm going to be asked to stop and hold here. Maybe. At least it kind of seems like I should. Seems to be sort of uh, heavily trafficked here. Although it's maybe kind of clear at the moment. I'm just going to go for it. Maybe sort of quickly go for it. Alright. Okay, I kind of feel like I should stop and hold here. Okay, look to the left. Don't see any planes coming in. Alright.
haven't heard anything from the tower in a while. I'm sure that's okay. There we go. Position, caution, other traffic. Uh, okay. Let's see what other traffic. H423, continue taxi. Oh, that's probably just a delayed message now that I'm thinking Roger about K it. H423. I think I see our spot over there. It's so nice that it's not raining. I think today may be the first day of spring, or maybe the first whole day of spring, one or the other. Alright, a little bit of uh, differential braking steering here. Oops, slowed myself down too much. be able to safely steer around all these other aircraft. The temptation is to look from the outside, but that wouldn't be a learning situation. A little bit of lag again, that's alright. Not going to let that kind of thing bother me. Now I'm running the RTX 2080 Ti, I am starting to think that a 30 series might be nice if it's possible to get one at all, or at least at a reasonable price. Alright, let's try to get ourselves in here. Try not to go too fast. It's hard to go slow in this thing. Okay, I think I just hit something that Shut the engines off. I did. Huh. That's funny. Okay, well we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and park here. Sorry folks. Um because I hit the button on my throttle that turns the engine on and off. So I don't want to start them up again. Alright, so uh thank you so much for watching. Let me actually turn off the plane first. There we go. That's it. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.